Unicorn Circuit. Welcome to another episode of the Unicorn Circuit. Welcome back, friends. Daily. All 38 of you. It's the daily show where you get all the quality car news. And other quality? quality? And, Did and, you watch yesterday? And entertainment. Was that quality? Martin, what I can tell you is there, there's been a lot of gherkin bat going off. So much gherkin bat. 35 of you use the gherkin bat code. If you don't know what if gherkin you don't know bat what that means, is, rewind, people. Hit yeah, the, hit they, the they're going to have to go. But basically, three of you, there was no bat at the gherkin. What is going on? We, 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 we told you there was a secret code. We told you the code was Gherkin Bat. Three of you did not go to the Mighty Car Mods website and enter it where it says, what do you, and what do you get? You didn't find out, but you can have a look. Anyway, before we kick off into the news, that other show we make, Mighty Car Mods, we just got these back, so I'm pretty excited about it before we jump in. Uh, Martin, these are the Mighty Car Mods oh, fender, fender covers. covers. People have been asking for them for years. Um, uh, we designed them, we got them made, and now they, they work are really well. available. There's a thing, uh, Going down there now. Um, They've got little magnets in and they sit in the top of your fenders. If your fenders are made of fiberglass, sorry, can't help you. You might have to clamp them on. Yeah, or if you've got a Sylvia, they also probably, they don't stick to bog. <laughs> but um, these sold out last time. And so if you want one, uh, we're announcing them here on the Unicorn before we announce them on the main show. Why? Because we care. We got a huge show, Martin. It's Do we? the same size as ever. It's the same size as ever. It's the same size as ever, which I would say is a, not even a chub, is it? It's more just... Chub. Is that, that dog food? It's a chum. melted That's periscope. Chum. That's chum. chum. That's, it's a melted periscope. It's only just gone up and then gone, you know what, can't do it. What? Like, I, they're too far under. Okay. They can't get... Anyway, should we be... Uh, it, is we a be big, it is a big show. It's a big show. I do want to say thank you, everybody, no digression. for watching. There's going to be lots. I do want to say thank you for watching because there are at least 38 people out there that are watching the show a hundred times each to get the numbers up for us. That's right. Which is pretty good. And there's about to be a hundred episodes, people, which is why we're coming at you daily, because episode 100, I'm just, it's gonna be the biggest thing on the internet for at least a second. It's, it's one the, second. It's gonna be the biggest moment in unicorn history. And the funny thing is, is the other, I, I do believe the other show we make just hit 3.6 million subscribers. Wow. There's only 38 people that we really care about. That's right. I mean, look, if we're, if we're to be truly honest. But none of that. We're not What's doing daily show, Mighty anyway. Carmods, are we? No, we're here for daily unicorn circuit for you. Also, because we're currently in post for a feature film that'll be out soon and it's taking a lot, of our, time. a lot of time. And so we just think if we do this in the morning, it'll keep everyone happy while we actually make the other show. <laughs> That's not the case. Let's dive into the news. So, on a previous section of the Unicorn Circuit in the News, we reported about the controversy. Um, controversy. The co is that how you say it? I don't know. I like that way, though. Do you? Yeah. That is like when someone says yogurt. I don't oh, like no, it. I don't like yogurt. That makes me feel sick. Yogurt. Yeah. Don't talk Burp. about yogurt on your pants. Don't like it. Yogurt. You say yogurt. On your pants. It does In a bowl? Wherever. Anywhere. In Anywhere your mouth. it goes. Just call it yogurt. Don't say yogurt. Because... Yogurt sounds like yogurt, which is what you do with yogurt usually. Yogurt. I quite like yogurt, but I imagine you don't. The thing that I find Bacteria weird likes it. is if you have yogurt on beef, which people <laughs> wouldn't do, <laughs> well. but I don't like mixing the dead creature with liquids that it made while it was alive. Do you know <laughs> yes. what I mean? Like, Eggs and chickens. And, and I do, I mean, actually, and to his credit, and that's what I reckon, friend of ours, he was on the show a little while ago. Three episodes You ago. might have seen um, his bolognese sauce <laughs> that kind of made the headlines of the foodosphere uh, yeah. because he put milk in there. Now, I tried it. Tastes good. It's great. But i got to say, when you're eating a minced up creature <laughs> with the liquid that is designed to sustain the young of that creature at the same time, that's not a recipe. That's the, that's the synopsis of a horror movie. Yeah, it is. I'm not going to argue. Like chicken and egg mixed in the same no, thing. No, you can't do chicken and egg. You can't, like a chicken fried rice. You can have ham and egg. You can have chicken and ham. Right. Chicken and egg? I'm not, I don't, yeah. I don't you, you can't. It must be a thing. There must be a word for it. It's going to be front of free for life. What are we talking about? Those weird words. Car news. We're talking about car news. Are we in the news section? Controversy. Controversy. Was... Sorry. Okay. No, I'm not going to talk. Keep your yogurt to yourself. I always Con do. <laughs> this show 
<laughs> this show is so. Are loose, we ever man. going to get a sponsor of this show? We should not. Are we ever this going show. to get a sponsor? We just shouldn't upload Welcome Unicorn to the Unicorn Circuit. Circuit. Proudly brought to you by absolutely <laughs> no one. Actually, no. Hey, no it's it's, it's, wait on, wait on. <laughs> Sorry, oh, it's, it's it's Nestle on the phone. They they've got a yogurt and they want to sponsor a YouTube show. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much? <laughs> Three bucks. <laughs> okay. It's more than we're making currently. Jeez. Anyway. The controversy was, I'm so sorry, controversy, not sorry, was that sales figures came out about the best-selling mid-sized sedan. I think we said electric car. About this. No, I think we said electric car. I, Have it you was got a thing in your thing about this? It was mid-sized sedan. Tesla came out saying they sold 15,000 of them. Um, Camry said they sold 13,000 of them, therefore making the Tesla Model 3 the best mid-sized selling sedan in, in the country. But those numbers did not align with what was done. Um, uh, new cars being registered, it was more like 12,000, which was a thousand less than Toyota, meaning that possibly someone at Tesla, not, I'm not going to say the word fabricated because that has a connotation, so, there was a human error that involved a misrepresentation of how many cars were sold so they could be the number one selling vehicle. Um, it was reported that they sold more than Toyota. The Electric Vehicle Council, <laughs> on behalf of Tesla, has just come out and said, and I'm just going to read it, while the massive year on year leap reported was correct, that's correct. There was an error in the numbers the Electric Vehicle Council was provided relating to Tesla deliveries. Due to a human error, the Tesla delivery figures for 2020 were erroneously added to the delivery figures for 2021 by Tesla before the figure was provided to the Electric Vehicle Council. So instead of 15,054 Tesla Model 3 deliveries in 2021, the figure reported should have been 12,094, which is, this is not the quote now, Less than what so the Toyota human, sold. Human error. Uh, uh, correcting the total Tesla deliveries of all models reduces the number of EVs delivered in 2021 from 24,078 to 20,665. So someone got it wrong. It just so happened that by getting it wrong, there was a bit of PR about it being the best selling, even though it wasn't. Can um, I, can Toyota I... has won the best selling category, uh, the best selling um, sedan thing, whatever, forever. Um, for as long as. Like almost Forever. 30 years. Seriously, a long time. You only got to drive around and you'll see cameras. It's, it's not going to happen next year, though. Um, I reckon that time. This is, is interesting, though. Like, hum in terms of human error and the the amount of impact it has on the globe, do you remember who also blamed human error for one of the biggest stories in car history? It wasn't Volkswagen, was it? Yeah. Was Dieselgate it? was human error. We loaded the wrong map on. Oops. Did and they? And then next minute, dyno mode on all their diesel things to yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah. Like, so. I, I also understand why people are taking a pot shot at Tesla with this because what else are you going to talk about? Build quality, they fix that. What range, I will say though, range is pretty good. people do make mistakes and we're not they making do. any claims about any of these multi-national conglomerates with large legal departments. <laughs> they care what we say. Um, that's, yeah, anyway, good. Anyway, there it is. Martin, here's the other thing that I realised today. I'm going through the... I have three pieces of news. Good. They're all related to electric cars. Great. Back in the day, we had to do that. That's it. We had to do rain fingers because some of you would go, why are you talking about electric cars? Because that's the, that's the, that's the news now. And I know yesterday's show we were talking about the, the Nissan um, Z. That Z is up there with yoghurt. It's Z. It's Z. It's the English no, language. No, well... It's yeah, the English okay. language. If you... Look at how England say it. England, English, same thing. They invented it. It said, let's calm down on the Zs. 240Z. Ugh. What are we talking about? Oh, do you have any news? Because otherwise I'm just going to keep no, going. No, yeah, pump through it. it. I've okay. got a game for us. We're playing a game in the oh, news cool. section. I'm just going to go through this really quickly. In really exciting news to bring us all up for a second, and this is pretty incredible news from an OEM, BMW, which is you know also known as Mini, have kicked off what they call the Mini Recharge Project. What does this mean? Sounds it means good. getting your classic Minis built up to the year 2000, and they'll convert them to electric, but they'll do it in the in factory. The factory. Now we're talking about 160 kilometer range, 120 on horsepower, 90 kilowatts, zero to 109 seconds in performance car land. You go, that's not that fast, but oh, good. it's not designed to be super fast. It's designed to get you around places like Paris, um, London, where there's congestion tax, it gets you rid of that. It means you future proof, future proof your car, but they still managed to retain the purity by doing the install without damaging anything, unlike my VTEC conversion on my Mini. Uh, they keep everything exactly as it is. Then they store, number, categorise your wow. fuel tank, your engine. Cool. They keep it in the factory. And in a few years' time, you go, you know what, I want my purity back. You take it back. They put that back in it. Guess who will be doing from that? From the factory. No one. 
they're going to have a big factory Dude, full of original stuff. No, it's going to be huge. Then. But I mean, no one's going to go put the petrol. Oh, no one's going in back. It. Unless yeah. it's some weird thing where it's worth more money to sell it with the petrol motor in it. But like, congestion charge is a huge thing. I mean, it costs a lot of money to go into the centre of London. And some cars, I think, don't get congestion taxed and some do. Yes. And so a lot of people don't even bother driving there because it's just way too expensive. In terms of talking There's about tolls, um, like electronic uh, tolls. used car prices and stuff like that as well, just to give it an idea. Um, so my Mini, which we did, did, you're really good with years. Do you know when we did that Mini? 2014. Really? 15. Almost, yeah. Seven years ago or so. Yeah. Um, that car was four thousand dollars. My car. Wow. Uh, the equivalent in yen was whatever. It was. It was around four thousand, maybe four thousand US dollars. Um, there's a couple of uh, minis for sale at the moment, but there is a uh, one the same as mine for sale at the moment. It's fifty thousand wow. dollars. And I actually think that's a reasonable price for for what it is this because they're not going to make any more of them. Demand. They're one of the most iconic kind of design pieces of and all time. And yours is a modern one, which means you've got a twenty year head start on rust and all the other crap yep. that comes with it. And I mean, look, mine does have a Civic engine, so <laughs> so for the the purest, they'd go. That means it's worth less. Yeah. But for somebody who's like me, who's kind of straddling the combo of old school and new school, I would say that actually makes it worth more because it's engineered as yep. well. So anyway. That's really exciting. It's cool to see that coming from now. Basically, it's a way of keeping old cars on the road. I also think that BMW is probably taking a branding punt at this and knowing that the classic Mini mm. is a very important part of their marketing image. The more of them on the road, the more people go and buy a new Mini, yep. which we call a Maxi. It has some value for them in that way. Uh, last piece of news. Again, it is, it's, it's electric news as well because this is just where things are going. Um, Kia, have you seen the Kia EV6 yet? I saw one. No, I saw an... I saw the new iconic, whatever it's called, that I had seen on the show. One? I saw one yesterday. Super Tron-y little live. I saw things. one. I took a photo actually. I forgot to send it to you, but I took a photo because it's the first one I've seen in the wild, and it looks futuristic. It looks kind of cool. Yeah. It does look cool. All the cool. Kia design changed. Apparently, they like headhunted some people from Europe or whatever, and they said, changed "Can you their please, logo even? Can you yeah change your logo and can you make our cars look cool?" And I reckon they've done a good job. I even that done... weird van spacier thing. Oh, Star that, looks Star Star that looks great. Yeah. That looks excellent. But the point is, is that I still don't think we're all quite on the same page in Australia about what the demand is for EVs versus what's actually being delivered. Yeah. And I have some evidence of this. As such, the Kia uh, EV6, um, they've been inundated with orders. So they're expecting Smashed. that Kia Australia is going to be given 500 cars. <laughs> there you go, 500. <laughs> Do you know how many they've already sold? Way more than that. Almost 2,000. Four times. But there's so only 500 of them. One in four people one actually One in four people one. who commit and go, yes, I'll take it. Actually, let's look at the other glass half empty. Three people who go, yes, I want it, thank you. No. So surely they've got to, I don't know who's saying no, surely they've got to bring in more. People want them. Okay. Whether you like it or not, people want them. Here's an idea. Rewind a couple of years. Rewind two, three, five years. Government and big industry talk about this. Cars are a huge industry in Australia. Government's always got their finger in it. They make a lot of money from it. They get excises and taxes. Hey everyone, EVs are coming. We're gonna set up some kind of usage charge thing on EVs. Five years ago when no one cares because no one has one. Yeah. And they go, oh, okay, we don't care because there's only 10 people in Australia with a Tesla. You have to pay an extra 100 bucks a year because there's no fuel excise. Hey government, hey, used, hey um, car manufacturers overseas, we're gonna give you some kind of tax incentive to get this stuff happening and to make sure and secure the supply of new cars, new generation cars into the country so the demand is met so people can buy the stuff which they pay stamp duty on, which the government gets, which they pay their income tax to buy in the first place and generates you know, market movement, all that sort of stuff. No, here we are where people can't even buy the stuff that they want because it's not being supplied. Because why would the, if the manufacturer goes, hey, we've got this mad deal with Australia, they've secured up the supply, they've guaranteed this, that, whatever, they've worked all out, they've got their infrastructure underway, yeah. and we should send a whole bunch of cars there because we're going to make money. The consumer in Australia wins, the car company wins, the government wins because they look like they're on the front foot. As, Sorry, it's a bit ranty. No, no, it's not ranty. Not only do I, I agree with you. What are we you. doing? Yeah, what, what are we, here's what we're doing, Martin. You can't go to work unless you do a rat test. Oh, can I have a rat test? There aren't any. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can what? I go to work then? No. No. But we, but we need, need to your, move the workforce. But we want your money. <laughs> oh, what? Can you go How do I go money? to work so I can pay you my tax if I can't stick the thing in my nose that you said I have to do, but there aren't any? Yeah. What we're, a mess. We're, we're in a weird This is not spot. a political show, no. and we try and stay away from that. And I'm not having a go. I mean, I am having a go, but I'm not. I'm not it just doesn't names, make sense anyway. anyway. Because um, Electric apparently was going to ruin the weekend, or there was some crap that went on about it. I don't remember. It's going the to ruin the week. No, it's apparently not, because he backflipped on that. Our Prime Minister, he's. Um, we said we're not going to go there. We won't we go there. And we're, we're not. not. We're not. Uh, is that the end of the news? Well, yes, it... but I want to 
This is this is a new section, but we don't have graphics for it. I'm going to make the graphics. No, we're going to make the graphics. Uh, check this out. Here's our brand new section. Game time. Game time. This is a new section of the Unicorn Circle, which we made some epic graphics called called. I got to make something up. Game time. <laughs> No, God, I love a, it. That's a crap name. Game time. Game time. I made yeah. up a game. I made up a game, people. Okay. I know my friend here's going to like it. I didn't even <laughs> tell him what it was, but it is bouncing off something he said here about the used car prices of minis. It's one of our favourite games to play, and I want to bring you it's guys... It's one of our favourite games. I don't know what it is. It's one of our favourite games to play, and we're going to bring you along just this once because it might suck, but we're just going to try. I don't know what the game is. How could it be one of our favourite games? S, B, S, B, C, B... Baked no, beans and spaghetti? No, B, I, N. I don't remember what that says. Sort by cheapest, buy it now, people. Oh, we're not sorry. Gonna, we're not actually going to buy it, but what we are going to do is go on a little international journey. Because I started to think, like, when people go on there, what's their version of, like, car sales or Gumtree or eBay or whatever they it is that it, you um, might use? They call it Craig's page. Craigslist. So sorry, I've preloaded, and I've, I'm doing a little nerdy screen record thing because I want to show you people what this is going to go. Okay. I've done sort by cheapest, buy it now in Australia, Brazil, Malaysia, America, and Japan, and Russia. And we're just going to have a quick look on the first page and see this, what's up. This is fun, the best thing ever. Along. You can play along. This is the best. This should be a whole show, though. It, yeah, it could be. But we're just going to look because who knows? This is this is the this is the beta testing or whatever you call that. Okay, when you cool. don't know what's going right, on. Let's but let's try. just have a look. So we're just going to go on a little international journey, being that you're not at the moment even really allowed to get in airplanes and go international. We're going to do it now. Right. We're all going right. to start. At home in Australia. So all I've done, I've gone to the main page. I've gone to the main page of where the website is. Tried to work out what it says and gone. No, no. I want to see no criteria. You, no criteria. Um, search, no filters. Sort by cheapest. Great. Let's so we're go. going to get some bullshit, but we'll also get some good stuff. So in Australia, the very first thing that comes up is a 1998 Mitsubishi Magna Advanced yep. TF Auto. Would you pay 500 bucks for that? Um, That's a mad paddy basher, I reckon. Don't no, I, reckon. I wouldn't. Okay. We'll Would go, you? Should we do three from each? Would or something? you? Because um, if the answer is yes, buy it. And if you're <laughs> no, not buying it, then the answer is no, you wouldn't. That's pretty simple. Cars. Um, then we have a 2013 SUV. Dude, SUV for 500 bucks. That's pretty good. Like, there's something wrong with that And what sure. else have we got? Lastly... Oh, dude, a sub. Yeah, I would take that. Two litre turbo sub. Turbo sub-ed. petrol, yeah. 800 Dude, bucks. I'm actually saving that one. This yeah. is a bad idea. See, that's great. What else? A crashed Nissan Navara. No, no, that, you're up for... Okay, we'll do five. Five, five. in each one. And okay, next up, next? what do you got? Another Magna. But it's a thousand bucks. See that one too. It's all yeah. Magnus. Right. All right. Okay. Australia's all Magnus, Magnus and Saabs. Absolutely. Right. Where are we going next? We're going to, I believe this is Brazil. So, what's Brazil got to show us? So, I don't know what their currency conversion is. You guys should look that up. 5,000, whatever it is. What are Brazilian, what is, um, um, so hold on. We've got a, what is Brazilian currency? I don't get that. Good on your theory. Chevrolet, Chevrolet Monza Sedan 1.8. Look at that. What is it? 89 gasolina, two people for... I don't speak Spanish or... No, Brazil's Portuguese. Keep scrolling, mate. I don't know. What's this? Electronic? Fiat that Uno. Electronic? Electronic car for 5,000 something. The Renault Clio hatch. Look, these are all little nuggets, man. Ford Escort hatch. You can get a leather helmet over there. Oh, that's weird. Ford Del Rey sedan. Oh, uh, look at that. Chevrolet Chevette hatch. Look at that. They've got way cooler stuff than we've got. Vo Dude, What's look that? at that Volkswagen. A Volkswagen Voyage. I don't know what that is. A Ford Bellina. Okay, right now Brazil's winning. Brazil's winning. Next country, but oh, Brazil wow. is okay. winning by far. That's so this awesome. is now Germany. Germany. So some of these are going to have the bullshit prices where it's like one, two, three, four, five, whatever. But let's just see what we can come up with. Let's get down to the actual Ford car. One hundred eighty euros right? for a Ford car. Yeah. A Fiat Stilo multi wagon. Dude, Sorry, Volkswagen got four for two hundred. We should have bought that. Wait, I'm going to be. We got a GTI. We got a Turbo, which was wasn't ours two thousand. Opel Astra. Yeah. Hard pass. Volkswagen Golf one point six Trendline ninety nine. Did a Mark three. Uh, no. I mean, yes and no. Ford Next. one day. This is all, no, this is getting a bit, yeah, okay. What is that thing? Twingo. The Renault. Twingo. Twingo. That's Twingo. cool. Dude, this, I mean, there's really. some interesting stuff there, but it's looking all looking very German, isn't it? So Are we, we in America here? yet? Dude, now we're in South Africa. Oh, goodness. Autotrader.co.za. Let's have a look. So apparently with Rand, um, I was speaking to a South African friend who's very knowledgeable, and he said divide by 10. Oh, okay. So, oh, so $1,300 yeah. for a Mercedes Benz. Why is there Mercedes? E-Class. Why are they all Mercedes? I know why. There's Mercedes, Audi, Mercedes, South Africa. 
Because What's they, going on with your VI make, penis? Look at that, Audi 100. Because they make a lot of these cars in South Africa is apparently one of the reasons. And also there's big importing. What is that? What is that Ford thing, Sierra? a Ford Sierra? Sick. We just do not see this Volvo, stuff. Volvo, can you go up a little bit? What's uh, that one? No, I wanted to see it keep going up. That one? No, keep oh, going. Oh, Sirion. Sick. That. Honda. It looks like a Civic. I think it is a Civic. That's an EG a Civic. A Honda Ballad. 1.5 Lux, Lux line. line. That's pretty cool. Opel Corsa, Ford Telstar. Oh, we had what them. is that? Look at the City Golf. Is that a Mark II? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's cool. And then Can we buy cars from South Africa and bring them I over don't know. here? Dude, Hyundai Accent. Anyway, it's all looking a bit the same at that price point, but that's cheap. Mercedes and Hyundais. All right. Next people we're going to, Russia. Oh, goodness. Yes. All right. A BA3. Volkswagen I don't know Golf. What any of these things are. One euro. 105 rubles. What's I think a... that's just come and take the car away, right? <laughs> a Volvo 240. Dude, they've then, got yes. heaps of these things. What's a BA3? Did, it's Anyone some... know about what that is? Yeah, we've... we've um, in not, uh, When we went to Cuba, didn't wasn't that a BA? No. no. A tri... anyway. I don't think so. I know there's a couple of like Russian-made Maybe brands, and that's one of them. 2003 Ferrari 328. Cresta. We need to click into that one. Oh, cool. There's some Jap imports there as well. Yeah, nice. A Buick Rayner, BMW, Chrysler, yep. Chaser. All right, where are we going next? Let's look at this Ferrari. Dude, it says it's a Ferrari. That's not a Ferrari. What is that? It says Ferrari 328. What is that thing? What is that thing? <laughs> Apparently, it's just the thing you wanted. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a bit of a worry. All right. It's now... based on your search history, yeah, by the okay, way. Okay, mate. Now we're in orange. That is, it's based on your search history. Okay, what is it? Was that a... Was that a... Yeah, of course was it was. It? Yes. Look at what website do you want? I'm just going to prove to you that that won't come up for me. That was show, show me O O Y Y. Oh, o I have to enter it in. O O. Uh oh, yep. Y Y. Yep. O O. Dot com. And then we need to see what your search history is. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm not getting. No, it. you're not in the same thing as me. How do go I do that it? one? Click just that. Hit, click that. Yep. And now go sort by. Sort by that one price to get it to the same screen. Oh, you got a Micra. Yes. And now I'll click into one of the cars. Yeah, no, I'm not. Click I'm... into one of the cars, like the Micra. Let's see what ad comes up if you get an ad. Dude, you didn't get an ad. I'm getting finance. You didn't get an ad. Yeah, that's an ad. Oh, yeah. Okay, finance. Anyway, you digressed. That's not a Ferrari. What are we next? <laughs> We're in Orange County in California in America. Dude, this is cool. S6. Apparently, this is sorted by price, oh, right. but I think some of these prices are a What's bit What's that bit, thing? Bit wrong. No, this is one of those ads where they just go one dollar just to look get at click this, on it. There's a, there's a Rexy there. What? Look at this. Is that a two door? Look at this Baja bug. That's cool. There's some cool Baja? stuff. Do that nice Chevelle Sorry. looks mad. Oh, they, this is just. There's people in America just watching right now, They're going, "Those boring. cars are utter rubbish." But for us, that's a big deal. Yeah. So anyway, like a truck. A lot of these prices are unfortunately like fake. So this doesn't help us because this isn't actually by sort by cheaper. So you don't get the same kind of thing. You just get a lot of Silverados and whatever. Anyway, um, where are we going next? We're going to Malaysia. Oh, this will be cool. Proton Iswara Aeroback. Proton Wira. What's that thing? Inno, Inocom Atos. Lots of Protons. We had them. They're based on Mitsubishi. And like our All right. One or two more. Here we go. Oh, have you got more countries? Oh, there's that Craigslist. Look at that. It's a GC8. Two door, dude. How much is it? I don't know. Can we buy that? Um, can we bring it to Australia? I don't it's it's wrong so. hand drive, though. This is $1. Why isn't there a price? Oh, he probably wants it. No he emails. Bought. I don't need help to sell it. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> good. And next, we're going to Japan just because we can. This is a sort by cheapest as well. So we have a K oh, truck look for $1,200 US dollars. Lots of little Nissan micro things, Lots Moco things, K trucks. trucks. Look at that, just a Nissan, random Nissan Bluebird that's worth nothing, of course. Wow. And otherwise, lots of boxy stuff, which is what you see all over yeah, the road there. all over the place. Anyway, Bands so that was, things. that was, uh, that was the... Martin, I liked that new segment, was that, a that fun new game? game. It was called Game Time. Game time. Um, everybody, well done for joining You can play in. this game yourself. Just load it up, sort by cheapest bite now. It's really interesting. There's so many more countries. I just tried to pick <laughs> ones from different areas of the globe. Yes. Excellent. Now we'll move on to, is that even legal? This week on Is That Even Legal, we're, we're going to South Africa, people. Because, Martin, do you enjoy watching television? Mm, 
I don't. Just say yes. Okay. It's illegal in South Africa to watch television. What do you mean? It's actually, it's legit illegal. I checked this with someone who said it was bullshit, uh, who's from South <laughs> Africa, by the way. Um, but apparently, um, it's illegal to watch TV without buying a license from the government first. Wait, so it's illegal to do something without a license? Do you like shooting guns? Do you like riding jet skis? Yes. Illegal. Without a license. Okay, mate. That's the shittest license that even like you've ever done. What do you mean? <laughs> because you're just saying it's illegal to not have a license for something. To watch a TV? Yeah, it's the same as the UK. Do you have it? a license to watch your TV? No. No. I get pumped with ads. That's why I don't watch TV. Yeah, I know. But if you wanted to, would you? No. What? Yes, you would. Okay. <laughs> the thing is, it is it is illegal. Unless you actually check with someone who lives there and they say it's not. According to the internet, it's illegal. How do they know that? Because in the UK, don't you have to have like a card or a subscriber thing or something? I don't know. Are you um, in the UK and do you have to pay a thing to I watch? remember. The in thing the is, whether it's South Africa or not, some places you have to have a license to watch your TV. In the UK, they do spot checks. Is that where they check your undies? <laughs> no, they check, they check to see if, you've, if your TV's connected and then if they check your address and they cross-reference it. You know what else is absolute rubbish, and this is probably for conspiracy theory, is that the ratings that we get out on TV in Australia, they'll say, um, you know... This particular reality show had 603,000 people watch it. They're not logging 603,000 people because old school media has no idea who's watching well, and what's can't. going on. How can they know? Compared to like current YouTube. Look, obviously I'm on the YouTube platform, but you can look at the ages and demographics of different things. They have a small number of people and those small number of people have a little box and it monitors what they, what they watch and then they somehow get that number and times it by what they think the population is and that's where they're getting their numbers yeah. from. The numbers may be, allegedly, they may be inflated to keep the advertisers happy. Unlike if you look at something like Reach on YouTube or Facebook, I, I got, unless they're doing something as well, pretty much the views are going to be the views. Mm. I don't think people are faking them. Yeah. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. I think you're thing. right. Martin, is it time for conspiracy? It sure is. Conspiracy Hat Cat is one of our favourite complete bullshit parts of this show where we talk about all the conspiracies that matter, even though none of them matter because pretty much all it's conspiracies bullshit. are bullshit. It's not bullshit. Okay, well Some this one, real. because you were so, so motivated with Tesla, we're going to do a Tesla one. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The conspiracy I think we should is, be very careful about this. No, this is, this is all over the internet. This, is, we're not like, this isn't us, I'm know, just telling you. But there's a lot of litigation between Top Gear and Tesla, mainly because when they did a review, they pretended that the car allegedly ran out of electricity. But the person allegedly who dropped the Tesla off to the Top Gear's track saw a script, and in the script before they'd even got the car, it was in the script that they were going to pretend the car ran out. That's not the conspiracy. That's actually defamatory, I think. Yeah. But the point is... I think is Tesla it, won that one, though. I don't know. But all, all I'm saying is that... Um, or Top Gear. No, Top Gear did. I don't no, know. No, I think, I think Tesla did that. But, yeah. but here's Good the thing. Good read. Have a read about that one. That's anyway, pretty wild. That, that's um, look, this is a bullshit conspiracy, but apparently Elon Musk is an alien, and he's trying to build a oh, ship God, so he can no, get sorry. back to home to Mars. <laughs> that's, <laughs> sorry. That's, <laughs> that's what... clearly didn't need because, the preamble. Because... Sorry. sorry. The poor guy is stuck here desperately wants to get back home to his alien people and he must have crash landed or something and he's gone these dumbasses they they're burning stuff it's dumb we've done that on 16 other planets that we destroyed and and we know that that's not right so we're gonna we're gonna build electric cars that look a bit american and we're gonna start an online payment system called paypal with some other dudes and they're gonna sell that make some money in ebay make some money start electric cars so that I can funnel money into a space company so I can build a rocket to go back home. That's the conspiracy. I didn't say that this conspiracy... I didn't say that Conspiracy Hat Cat is factual. I'm just highlighting conspiracies that exist and that's one of them. Do you have anything to say about that? Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Because he said the pyramids great. were built by aliens. That, how this happened was he tweeted they actually were, though. that the pyramids so that's were built by aliens. And everyone's like, how do you know? You must be an alien. You must yeah. have done it. The pyramids were built by aliens. That's fact. Anyone who just... <laughs> mean it's fact? It's not fact. There's a picture on the wall of a guy in a helmet, mate. They... Okay. There's a hieroglyphic of a guy with a helmet on. Okay, mate. Okay. Sorry, if you... Oh, God. Sorry, just to... Just to just you to actually get believe that the pyramids were built by second. aliens? Yeah, they were. Of course they were. <laughs> it's not funny. It is funny. 
They drew a picture on the wall. Do you know? I, I'm not even going to get started about so that. So I draw a picture on the wall of animals that look like elephants, but they have enormous wangs. And that's then a, that's 5,000 years from... No, enormous, like bigger than the elephant. And then 5,000 years from now, someone finds it on the wall of a building and goes, an elephant with a giant wang built this building? If that building was built in a way that was representative of a giant winged creature that could not have been built in any other way, then absolutely. Couldn't the be built by are, like, lots ma- of people? The maths are beyond what is capable of humans at that point in time. The amount of people that were required. Don't even get me started on Stonehenge. The stuff was built by aliens, man. I'm just... It's the easiest description without educating oneself. <laughs> Which is basically what conspiracies are, right? <laughs> Just remove all education um, and you're, you're all set. Uh, I believe that I believe the stuff was built by humans putting in a lot of time and a lot of hard work. Yeah. With what are we talking aliens. about? Oh, is this, this um, show needs to end. No, no, Martin. The point is about the, the um, Elon Musk um, being allegedly an alien. being an alien. There is a, a lot of humans, and I'm not going to dive into the data because I don't want it on my history. <laughs> I, no, I can, I can get it. Um, there is substantial data about the, the, the high proportion of the population that believe that there's an, an elite shape-shaving, shape, shape-shifting group of oh, humans. Who lizard are, people. Yeah, crap. lizard, yep. Who are lizard oh, people. They're the so shape-shifting boring. lizard people the who are into human and trafficking. Yeah. And yeah. The, so the point is, is it's not that far from the truth to suggest someone is an alien because some people believe that there's people, lizards, in human form. If you're continually moving the line of where the truth is, everything is not that far from the truth if you keep pushing it into ridiculous land, right? We're not far from the truth. Yeah. I just walked off the edge of the earth. Oh, I wasn't far from the truth. Mate, the busted watch is right twice a day. That's right. Unless it's got no That's battery, right. then the screen doesn't What work. are we doing? I want to eat some food bag. Is it time? Is it? I think it is. Is it's it? time for random food eat bag. No, it's fanking. Oh, we've got fanks? Do you yeah, have fanks? Yeah, I've got three. Let's go. Let's do it. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualising a product by taking a photo of it down near your crotch. Classic. We put them up on a Facebook page called Thanking Daily, facebook.com forward slash Thanking Daily. Someone else made a fake page. I don't mind that, except <laughs> they... It's for lads. Yep. All right, boom, here we go, Martin. Enjoy the ride. There you go. Great. Stun silence. Boom. So juicy. <laughs> Italian meatballs. I love that when there's someone else that's feeding it, you know they're looking at them either rolling their eyes or laughing all night. Yes, exactly. And now, runner-up, Martin, think of the week. <laughs> oh, nice. Beefy so balls. many balls in this week. I would eat those. And look, what's cool about that is, that, like, their friends there as well. Just oh, going, is that a you, tasty, like, chip snack? Yes. Oh, dude, I would eat that. Yeah. And they could see those crackers back there. They could have fingered that too, see? Beefy ball crackers. Uh, and last one for the week, think of the week is... Think of the day. <laughs> Sorry, the day. Boom, old thumper. There it is. The ringwood... Full of flavour, apparently. Could you please right now go to your cupboard and put some thankings on the thanking Facebook page? Facebook.com forward slash thanking daily. There's a thing down below with the link. Do it now so I've got something to show tomorrow. We're doing a call out for thanking. We're doing a call out for My Towns and Micro Cubs. We've got a brilliant My Town that's coming at you in tomorrow's episode. It's so good. We didn't want to... This episode, which is great. We're going to... It's in tomorrow's. Do you know what you could do if excellent. you're stuck at home and it could be a new segment instead of my town, can you do a my room? <laughs> because right now some of you could be just there going, this is my room. And you know what? Bonus points. 60 seconds. I want this video playing in the background. So as you're doing your my room, oh, I can hear this happening in the background and you go, hi, Unicorn Circuit, this is my room. There's my sock. There's my yoghurt. Or whatever it is that's in your room. And then we might put a whole bunch of them up. Oh, this cool. is your chance. This is this is your chance. Let's you do it. Send them in right now to the Third email address. Thing, the one that's in the description. The one that's say. in the description. Oh, send them in show, and you're going to be on the internet. We're going to wrap this up. Next up is Random Eat Bag. Random Eat Bag is the random part of the Eat no, Bag show not. where we bag, eat it. What? Random? Nope. We eat a random bag? Nope. Wrong graphics. Run the other graphics. Which one? Welcome to Mailbag. 
We've got, we got mailbag. Yeah, we got a mailbag. Look, this, this isn't just sitting here for the fun of it, Martin. Oh. This is because that's a mailbag. This is a box. We've got one box to open. If you'd like to send us something, you can send it to PO Box 475 Sydney Markets 2129 Australia. New South Wales. Martin, crack the seal on that. And, and prepare for the excitement of what you're going to see inside. Need my opening spoon. There you go. Oh, careful, careful. Is it fragile? Uh, it was before you broke it. Take it a spoon. A box like stuff. this could be turning up to your house, by the way. Ooh! Everybody, this here. The Mighty Car Mods earmuffs. Are you sick of listening to people you don't want to listen to? Are you sick of just hearing rubbish? Do you have noisy power tools or a MX-5 that sounds like a fart through a giant piece, piece of steel tube? This could solve all your problems, including listening to yourself speak. These yes. are really good. These are really um, comfy, aren't they're they? They're excellent. Um, so these here, um, they're Australian standard earmuffs. Uh, we designed them and got them made because we realised that people should be protecting their ear holes. And, as a special for anybody that's made it this far, Martin, you have to do this. We don't, we don't, we don't have anyone doing the IT for us, by the way. Device. We have to do it ourselves. I am going to do a unicorn special that no one else knows about, Martin. What do you mean? They're going to get that. What? Hold that for me. Yeah. They're going to get that. What? Hold that for me. What? And then, they're going to get oh, man. that. That there as a unicorn only pack. It's going to exist on the shop for a couple of days. It will not be promoted anywhere else. And you will get that as a discount. You don't need to put in a code. We're putting a thing up. There's a link below. You're going to get fender covers, earmuffs, and a study not caller. Bad. For Unicorn viewers only. Not bad. By the way, who's here, Martin? Are you ready? We're going to pick two random words for the word of the week, and then we're going to eat some stuff. Are you ready? One, two, three. Squelch. Yogurt, Yogurt squelch. squelch. Work out how to spell that. <laughs> Alright, Martin, let's finish this thing off with a random meat bag. Random meat bag is a delightful art of eating stuff out of a bag. That's pretty much what happens. Is what the girl that gave us this bag still out there? Still watching? Well, I she got so. sick of this show a long time ago. <laughs> Martin, we have what appears to be a. Um, <laughs> it looks. I think I actually think that is meant to be a um, croissant. I think it looks like a sausage roll. I think it's a croissant with chocolate in it. Martin, I would like to talk to you about croissants because... Oh, it is! It's a pain au chocolat. Um, That's what they call them. Does Something anybody... Like uh, maybe I shouldn't go there. It's, it's a... It's a, it's a no, I'm not going to... It's only good to eat for like another three weeks, so you better get into it. Is oh, it? you're supposed to microwave it. Are you really? I'm not going to because I don't like no, microwave we're bread. Not going to. But it's got a little thing saying you can microwave it like microwave popcorn. Except well, Martin, it won't be popcorn. I'm going to pull it apart. I'm going to give you one. I'm going to say thank you very How much. Do they a Japanese croissant, croissant, there's a very specific way that Japan does its baked goods when I've been there. It's kind of very floury and, a... and dry. That's exceptionally dry. I mean, how, what do you have to put in bread to make bread taste like bread when it's been there for two years? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm getting at? No. It's not, you know, it's I got a new maybe idea. if you microwave it. I got a new idea for this show. We what? I reckon we, we're we eating this Japanese stuff every week that's hit and miss. Yeah. I think we should start showing the people some Aussie food. Just pop up. Like, here's yeah. some Aussie. Because people might find it weird. Yeah. Like, people might find it strange what we have yeah. over here. So let's show them. Snacks, that was a disappointment. Aussie snacks it is. Not the fold of whoever oh. made it. But you great. never know, do you? Sometimes it's a win in random meat bag. Sometimes you get a mad win, you get something really tasty. Or there's that time really early on where you ate bugs. I'll never forget that. Yeah, you we should get some more. They were good. Did no, you eat one? No, I couldn't do it, man. Oh. I was, sorry. Just uh, a bit. Don't ever eat but bugs I... unless they're prepared properly. Like, don't be just eating stuff you find in the backyard. They could be full of bacteria and diseases, incredibly nasty brain diseases, all sorts of things. Don't ever do it. But if you get a properly food prepared bug that is designed for eating, that's been prepared for eating and it's salty and delicious and crunchy, go for it. High protein, very snacky, lots of legs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> These wow. are a new pack on the shop right now. It's going to be up there for a day or two. Um, you can get them. They'll be discounted. We'll send them to you. Uh, we might even put something else in there that's a bit random, but that's unicorn only. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this episode tomorrow. That's right. Tomorrow we're going to be back with another daily episode of the Unicorn Circuit as we march our way towards episode towards 100 and then we'll be back to figures. buy yearly again. Yeah, to three again. figures. Uh, see you later. See you, everyone. Bye.
corn second. 